Hello and welcome to Real Excel Epilepsy Portal. Today, in today's live stream, I am going to be talking about uh, home remedies for COVID, for flu, and for colds uh, that you can use at home. Um, mainly, it will be herbs. It will be things that you already use at home and things that can help you to get better and to deal with the symptoms. Okay, so none of it is an actual um, a cure for it. <laughs> it's for uh, for you guys to understand that uh, to use something, especially if it's a home remedy, it is only to help you with the symptoms. It is uh, a support for your immune system. It is something that's going to help you boost the immune system. So I will be talking about um, a few things today. Uh, I'll be covering uh, herbs uh, and home stuff, okay, like uh, uh, spices that you have at home and uh, water treatment that you can do to help yourself uh, with the symptoms. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to let you guys know that uh, anything that you do and anything that you add to your diet, uh, to uh, in your daily uh, intake for anything for supplements uh, or for for food or for drinks that you must always pay attention uh, whether it's gonna work and where it's gonna be in harmony with the meds that you're already taking uh, so that is something to always take into consideration and always 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 consult um, a medical professional ask them if you can take it uh, always cross check you can cross check things uh, online if you do if you do it online do it with a few reputable websites don't just do it with one website and say oh yeah you know that's okay for me to take do it if you with a few websites make sure they're reputable that uh, the where you get your information it's a place that uh, where they have done studies and where they actually know what they're talking about Okay, so the first, uh, second thing I want to do is I want to check if uh, we have volume on the video. So let me see, and then it we can proceed. Well, sorry about that. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> commercial. Okay, so uh, as soon as we have the volume and I can hear myself. Oh. Okay, we have volume. Excellent. All right, so uh, I had to change the time. I've been actually uh, feeling super sick. Uh, I still have... Oh, there was one more thing I was going to talk about, but I'm going to... Uh, so I still have... I put a piece of... Um, uh, actually, just a paper towel, uh, because I didn't have... Um, I, I didn't have uh, the, the little, what do you call them, cotton uh, balls, I didn't have those, but those are the best uh, if you have a problem with your ear, so uh, this is one of the concerns when people uh, get sick, uh, they have uh, cold or flu, uh, and uh, especially with the flu, many times they have a problem with their ear, uh, if your ears or your tonsils get infected, then uh, those can be huge and very serious issues. So you need to um, you need to look after it as soon as you start feeling the symptoms. Okay. Now I want to tell you a secret. This is the first thing off the bat that is like the biggest, the best tip of the day that you guys probably don't know about. Now because you have epilepsy, I want you to pay attention and. Um, to have someone present when you're doing this or someone actually do it for you make sure that the temperature is on low okay so for the earache um, many people well first of all I, I can't afford all kinds of different medications anymore because I'm not working so uh, money is a huge issue and uh, as it is for so many people right now so there are uh, that's one of the reasons I want to show you these remedies so you can help yourself to, you know, to get better at home and um, avoid unnecessary 
visits to the hospital and to the ER uh, when they're, you know, if, if you are still have symptoms but you're not in a super bad condition, uh, I would not, I myself, I would not go to uh, an ER unless I, it's a super, super serious uh, condition. Okay, so here it is. I want to show you this. <coughs> This is, um, I can't remember who told me this, but this is something I have learned many, many years ago, okay? And it works just as good today as it did over the years. Um, for ear ache, guys, uh, you can use a hair dryer, okay? So remember that usually make sure that you have one more than one setting, that it's not all hot setting because you don't want that. Um, this I also used uh, for sinus pain. I have a problem uh, that if I don't cover my head, my ears, and my neck, uh, so it's either if the head is not covered or if I get like really sweaty, then I will have a really super bad sinus. Even when the temperatures get to like below 15, I already have to have a headband. Uh, you know, 10, I have to have a hat, I have to cover my ears, any winds, I got to protect my neck, uh, so tonsils, to protect my tonsils, to protect my ears and my sinuses. So this is something, uh, so there's low and high setting, right? So you sit on the low setting and just gently, this is for the ear, so gently uh, use it for about five minutes. Make sure you're not too close so you don't hurt yourself and that someone is present while you're doing this, okay? So for the tonsils, oops, for the tonsils, you just go like this, depend which side, all right? And do the same, you can do it for five minutes. I actually had some chest pain and I was doing this uh, yesterday for the past couple of days because I've been having really bad chest pain. And even for the sinus, don't do too much of the heat on the head because your head is actually supposed to be kept cool, okay? So if you don't have a fever, make sure that you, if you have a fever, you don't do this on, the, on your forehead or, any, or anywhere here, okay? Now, the reason why I sometimes do it is because it's super hot in our apartment and I have to dry myself before going outside. By the time I get to the elevator door, uh, we have like a one kilometer long building. So by the time I'm in my full gear, it is hot, it's like 30 degrees on average Celsius, we're talking Celsius, in the apartment building. So that goes for our apartment and got, it's actually hotter in the corridor. So by the time I get to the elevator, I am really so, almost soaking wet, okay? So I have to be very, very careful, like I always put a lot of gear, a lot of layers, so when I when I go outside, uh, I put the windbreakers now, make sure that, you know, that the wind doesn't go through, and try to protect my lungs, uh, especially my, my lungs, my kidneys, everything when you go outside, um, that you protect yourself uh, from, uh, especially the areas where you know that your body has vulnerable areas, okay? So for me, it's the sinus, it's it's my lungs, okay? Uh, so I haven't had, because I gained so much weight, I haven't had actually a winter coat that closes in the past, I don't know, um, 10 years. So um, I have to put the layers on. And I gotta put stuff in front of it because my my coat does not close any of them. So even with the windbreaker, I have a protection at the back and my arms, but I don't have protection like right here in the front in my chest. So uh, this helps a lot, and this has saved my ears uh, many times over. And also, you have to guys do this as soon as it happens. So uh, don't wait for the earache to go really, really, really bad. If you start feeling like itchiness and stuff. Uh, or if you have water, you took a shower and you have like water accumulated, just dry it off a couple of minutes and that will help uh, to prevent, first of all, to prevent, uh, you know, anything setting in there. Uh, and if you are going outside, never take a shower before you go outside. So 
minimum two hours I would say before you go out make sure that your body is dry your hair that your neck that all of this area and your chest that your body is dry before you go out in a cold winter okay even if you dressed this can uh you know make things worse for you so uh people will uh if the cold air goes through uh the body and the body is wet uh, that's you know invitation for um uh, for the immune system to uh will start kicking in right away uh, but for some if your immune system is not as strong uh as mine <coughs> as mine isn't <laughs> Um, then you gotta be careful you gotta protect your tonsils you gotta put so your neck and your ears all right uh next thing on uh the uh list oh hi latoya how are you uh virginia is okay thank you for asking um i am okay as well and how are you doing and this uh you know not so uh good times with the pandemic and um, thank you for being here today Latoya I'm, I'm glad that you came on the stream and so today uh, I, I don't know if you were here from the beginning because I didn't notice uh, this until now uh, so today I'm talking about home remedies um, and uh, because of the pandemic I, I like to revisit this uh, topic many times and always to have to be able to reach people uh, to so they can help themselves at home and they can uh, you know address some of the symptoms and uh, feel better and you know perhaps avoid uh, a trip to ER or to hospital altogether okay so there are many remedies uh, so after the ear thing which guys this is a secret a sec it's a secret don't tell anyone no I'm just kidding share this video with everybody okay this is a wonderful thing I have discovered so many years ago especially for the earache and I have been I have found a really good uh, couple of different oils for the ear uh, aches so I don't have them because I haven't used them in years okay uh, since I discovered this with uh, with the hair dryer, but uh, if you don't want to go with the hair dryer or you can't or you don't have one, uh, there are little bottles of oils that with the dropper that you can purchase. You put uh, a little bit of oil on the cotton ball and you can p just put it in your ear. You just keep it there, okay? Don't get it wet. Uh, if you wash your ear, try to protect it from from getting wet while you're being sick okay so uh, until it heals until the area heals and until the infection goes away it goes for the tonsils everything is connected it's connected it's very close to your head you have to be very careful uh okay so uh next thing on the list we're gonna go uh so from sinus i already told you guys make sure that you have your coverage uh from the nose uh, there are things that you can use uh, to cleanse your nose. Now, the last, the thing I have been doing this year, uh, like some people can, uh, you know, they, they cleanse it with water and stuff. I really, uh, I really dislike that ritual. So I, I have not used it in uh, years. But what I have been doing is I have been using soap and water. So you gently, I'm not going to dig my nose right now, but you gently, you, when you wash up, when you come from out, especially if you come from outside, okay, and you wash your hands, so you take your boots, your shoes off at the entrance, you take your coat off, you take everything, your gloves, your, your uh, dispose of your uh, face mask, if it's a disposable one, the same thing for the gloves, and take everything off. Uh, that you've been using outside um, while you're at home so uh, the outside clothing leave it at the door uh, you know if you're living with someone else uh, go to the bedroom change to the clothes that you only use at home okay but before you change for to those clothes make sure you wash your hands that you use that you know five minutes uh, two minutes five minutes uh, ritual of lathering with the soap 
and that you wash your face, you wash your neck because your your face mask is here. So you breathing, you also breathing in your own stuff, and then when you pull, when the breath pulls, you could pull some of the virus with it and bacteria. So and then your uh, your mask goes around your ears. Okay. So I always wash it. I found it if there were, there was a couple of times I forgot to wash around the ears. That area was so super itchy. Uh, later on, that you know, I do it as a ritual even every day. So I wash the area. I wash my eyes very well, uh, even though I'm wearing glasses. Uh, and I wash my around my ears and I wash everything. So the whole face, around the nose. And after I'm done with the face, if I have an itchy nose, so many times I've been, uh, like when on the onset, I would have like itchy area here, like just at the end of the, where the nostrils are. Gently, uh, use gentle soap, just wash it a little bit with the soap and water. Don't go too deep, it will burn, <laughs> okay? But wash a little bit off and then rinse it and wash, rinse it, wash and rinse until it stops itching okay so we have uh we have our hands and fingers obviously to assist us to get rid of um trapped uh bacteria and viruses okay so these are our tools our hands are our tools and uh you know with the discoveries that we wonderful humans have discovered we have soap and stuff so Soap is a wonderful thing. It's a it's a great protection for you guys at this time. Okay, use the mild soap. I didn't bring the soap um, with me, but I like to use the the white, the plain white ivory. Actually, I think I use the one with aloe because they have put uh, a little bit. But it's I like to use it as pure and as mild as possible. I have a problem breathing problem, so anything that like uh, has a super like a lot of perfume. Um, my body and my lungs just like it big time okay so um, from uh, okay so we we went from um, when you have a sinus okay so we, we're gonna go from top to bottom so we have when we have a sinus I didn't bring a headband you guys know what what the headband looks like so if you have a hat okay and you already have a sinus problem and you have to go outside put extra protection on it so I put um, a headband and I put a hat on top of the headband now for the night if you still have sinus problem you can wear that headband for sleeping it will just help you to kind of sweat that area out and it's gonna I, I, I know for a fact that it has helped me so when I had really really bad sinus headaches this is what I did okay I put a headband on Guys, as soon as you get too hot, you have to head, take the headband off. So you have to work with your body um, and listen to your body, okay? Listen to your body's responses and always, you know, always uh, do stuff that uh, works with your body, okay? You got to work with your own body. <laughs> so a sinus problem, this is one of the good remedies that I can recommend from my past experience, okay? wearing a headband even while you sleep uh, while you're at home or whatever until you know if you get too hot take it off or until it goes away all right so the next thing you will have the ears with the hair dryer and the same thing goes with the tonsils so I found after I did the ears many times I had the problems with my tonsils uh, I use that as well so remember that tonsils are your uh, glands that you have uh, here around your neck and sometimes when people get sick they also have the glands well you have to be very very careful how to address that always consult someone okay and uh, do your homework online uh, you know uh, always uh, double check things before you do something for yourself all right so uh, on the note of the tonsils and throat so this is what I'm going to be talking about right now um there are two things that i have used in the past uh for the throat uh and uh yeah for the throat so gargling is one of the best things okay to help get rid of 
bacteria of the viruses and anything that's uh, already there and that's trying to settle there and then trying to pass into your lungs and you know make you sick and, and uh, make things work for you so uh, this is a herb that I have uh, well I have learned this from my mother she was uh, a healer okay and uh, this is this these are the things that I have learned uh, since my childhood okay and I know this works so this is sage um, a dry dry sage, sage herb okay what you do is uh, you boil it with water and um, the specific instructions for each herb and for a remedy um, I will post them on my health channel so real Excel health uh, guys uh, look for them uh, within the next couple of weeks because I'm gonna put all of all, all or a lot of these videos out on the health channel and I'm gonna be addressing each remedy uh, in detail but uh, today I'm gonna tell you about sage uh, you can put so de depend on the tab the type of sage that you buy there are different types of sage there is a red sage which looks which is not red <laughs> it actually looks whitish uh, the red sage is a lot more potent than this and so this one I just bought it from like a health food store red uh, health food stores also have red sage um, and the red sage is stronger so you would put less of red sage than this this I had to put like four spoons um, and then boil it for uh, at least half an hour because this one is not as potent and uh, then you steep it you cool it you cool it off it's best if you gargle um, when it's still warm okay so you're gargling when it's warm uh, because you want to uh, be using warm in your throat this will help uh, the swelling of the tonsils it will help with uh, removing the bacteria they really hate sage okay uh, this does not taste good so <laughs> it's very bitter so it's a great remedy to help uh, for sore throats and for tonsils now when you gargle gargle a few times a day all right as often as you want to i would recommend at least four times a day when you have an issue and uh that uh you do boil it for at least half an hour let it stand for an hour and then strain it okay put the rest in the fridge and then warm it up each time uh, before you gargle you can just take it out uh, let's say half an hour uh, before you're gonna gargle uh, out of the fridge and just do you do it with the room temperature that's fine as well okay there is um, so sage one more thing about sage that I want to tell you is that sage um, if you drink sage now again if you have epilepsy uh, you need to cross-reference with any meds that you're taking and that you have to be careful that it does not interfere with anything that you're taking already okay that goes for anything uh, for any type of ailment that you guys have what sage does is if you drink it um, and make sure that you don't drink it in large quantities it um, helps to prevent the body from uh, sweating so that I found that it's kind of um, it kind of not not stop sweating completely but it helps to prevent the body from uh, over sweating and so uh, in the winter that might be uh, a good way to go I like to uh, let my body uh, get rid of excess uh, water that way because I already have inflammation and so I don't ingest uh, sage uh but if i did and i had to be outside guys if you have to be outside for prolonged times um this is a good thing maybe to have a drink before and so this would prevent you from sweating and that's uh you know for the cold to go through your body as you're outside there is a remedy that is opposed to that that is called um marjoram okay this is marjoram uh, this is also a remedy that my mom uh, taught me about 
and uh, it's been um, uh, I actually use it in cooking I love margarine in cooking so in anything in soups in uh, in your potatoes in every, anything that you cook um, margarine I've been adding margarine so you can imagine uh, margarine is opposite to say so it will bring on uh, a lot a lot of perspiration okay and uh so be careful anything in excess is you know not good but if you're just using it as herb culinary herbs and then you're eating the food you should be fine you can make a tea so i actually added to my covid tea which i'm going to be talking about soon um and uh as uh, an addition to especially if you're already sick perspiration is a great way of helping the body to get rid of the toxins okay and to uh, get rid of uh, 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 what do you call it the symptoms as well so it helps you to get uh, over the symptoms and stuff like that better and sooner all right so this is uh, so this is the main uh, I'm gonna show you so there's gonna be a little bit of noise here but guys so this um, I buy herbs in bulk okay and um, this uh, I always get confused here because I, I gotta see if I can fix that mirror thing because it's, it's really confusing me uh, every time this way yeah this way <laughs> Okay, COVID tea next. So I put there. Uh, well, I wrote it down uh, so my daughter doesn't take stuff that is not supposed to. I know this is it, but uh, just I want to make sure that I know what's in it. So this is a COVID tea mix that I made myself. Okay, and this I'm going to be talking about it today. Um, and then actually let's talk about it now. And then I'm gonna talk about other remedies like uh, uh, the salts that you can use. Oh, see now I forgot. I was gonna talk about the second remedy for gargling. Okay, that if you don't have money because money is a very scarce thing right now for sage, uh, that you use your regular table salt uh, for gargling. Okay, use a very small amount just on the tip of uh, of a, a teaspoon so I would say not half I would say like a quarter teaspoon in a cup of warm water okay mix it up so make sure it's that mixture is not too strong it's gonna burn okay so use a quarter of a teaspoon uh, and uh, mix it well and then gargle uh, the same thing gargle a few times uh, at one time and then uh, gargle a few times a day to help uh, get rid of the bacteria and the viruses that are in your throat okay so uh, COVID tea uh, for the uh, actual uh, remedies for the list for the COVID tea guys uh, I'm not going to give you the list today uh, because I wanted to uh, make sure that I have this kind of a video on my health channel okay so real Excel health I will make a video uh, this week and I will post it on my health channel so real Excel health check it out uh, this week and uh, the list of herbs that I put in my personal mix of COVID tea all right uh, the amounts uh, you know I just say okay you know this much of this this much of that uh, so you gotta if you're gonna make your own COVID tea you really have to know okay so it's best if you have somebody uh, who knows about herbs uh, mix it for you okay the amount of each herb uh, is very important okay each herb has different potency has a different um it has a different function when you ingest it has a different function that will perform uh, as soon as it's in your body so for example okay this is something i have learned i was talking about it in my last video okay this is uh, uh 
these are elderberries okay now elderberries cannot be consumed raw never consume them raw okay uh, they can be used for um, colds which is in my mixture in my COVID tea and flu and uh, and the coronavirus and the COVID uh, which is very this is very good but you have to be careful how much of it you put in your tea uh, if you make it just uh, uh, it's best if you have money to buy the syrup uh, from a company okay there are companies that uh, sell syrup I, I went with this because uh, well I know about the amounts that can be safely ingested so um, but if you can buy a syrup that's better and then you only take one spoon of the syrup three to four times a day okay one spoon okay so this is very very strong stuff you have to be very careful of how much uh, elderberries are ingested they have to be boiled okay for half an hour to 40 minutes okay in water and if you're making your own you can boil a couple of uh, spoons of this um, okay and this is dry so this is concentrated and uh, you can uh, boil it in a small pot of water and make sure that uh, you, you steep it and you can uh, keep it in the fridge for a few days and just sip one spoon of that okay now so the next thing uh, that I add um, to so these are hibiscus flowers okay these are very good they are very high in vitamin C uh, and this is one of the reasons that I actually buy this I didn't label this because I know what it is and my daughter doesn't touch the herbs she doesn't know she doesn't touch the herbs uh, only unless it's like chamomile which I have to hide from her sometimes she takes it <laughs> and I need it for my mixtures okay so chamomile all right I will talk about chamomile in a minute but so hibiscus flowers um, are very very high in vitamin C so this is a great boost uh, for colds flus uh, and COVID and uh, to boost your immune system okay you can even uh, drink it regular tea as a regular tea every day so uh, that's a great uh, idea right there uh, so let's talk about a chamomile since I um, since I was uh, already uh, showed it okay so chamomile uh, these are the flowers okay uh, German German chamomile and chamomile is soothing okay it is cooling so if you have that's why they give it for colds because it is cooling it helps to it helps it, it aids to bring the uh, fever down for the body to cool off excuse me it's a tea okay so oh so I wanted to show you this okay so with the I make my own tea and every day I make sure that I have uh, this is already soaked um, lemon and that's all I have left for the lemon today so I wanted just to show you that to use lemon in your tea um, if you can okay uh, for people with epilepsy I would suggest to peel uh, to peel the lemon not to use the skin uh, because the skin and lemon and lime it affects people with epilepsy okay so I have well I have read that online so I've been always telling Virginia to make sure she takes the peels off or if she, that she doesn't ingest too much of it if she uses the peel okay so just to go uh, to go uh, gent gently gentle on that okay so chamomile is soothing okay it is um, hello <laughs> finally finally <laughs> finally you said hi to people people are asking about you Latoya I'm was cleaning. asking for you how are you doing you could tell people how you're doing I'm doing energy uh, enough to clean so I'm going to clean okay great 
Uh, uh, awesome. Okay. So common mode of shooting, it is, um, so even if you like have so throat, um, it is, uh, if you, if you have like a dry sore throat, chamomile is actually, um, moisturizing as well. It is a great remedy for bruises, uh, for, let's say for outside if anybody gets ever hurt. Um, uh, I had a very, very bad injury when I was a child. I fell down, uh, fell off my bike and I went forward and hit my head on a rock, okay, front, right here, so huge bulb like this, I still uh, biked back home, I think it was like three hours biking back home, when my mom saw me, she, she almost, she, she almost dropped, okay, so I went to, I, I stayed in the hospital for the next, uh, I think a week, uh, they were monitoring my uh, my head, and I had like scan. I think they do X-rays at that time. That was like many, many, many years ago. Okay, and so my mom actually worked at the hospital. She was the one who was bringing a basin with chamomile. Okay, and so chamomile can use can be used for eye washes, for drinking tea every single day. You can. They're cooling, so in the summer they're great. Don't drink too much of it if you're going outside, okay? Uh, but if you have a, a cold, flu, uh, COVID or anything, this is a good addition to it. Uh, just to, for soothing, okay? For soothing your throat uh, and uh, to bring the fever down, all right? Uh, so she, she did compresses on this. She brought, she brought a basin and she would put... Um, a cloth and, and a compress on my eye so I couldn't see on my eye for a few days and then uh, like the whole thing I did the same thing for my daughter when she had uh, there's actually a video of that already on the channel where she had a huge uh, bubble well for some reason she ended up with those uh, when she was uh, when she moved away and uh, she ended up like that and um, I nursed her uh, back to uh, better and I used chamomile compresses on her forehead and on her eye okay so you guys it's it's safe make sure the area is clean make sure you're always using the clean uh, cloth uh, so um, a cotton cloth is best all right clean cotton cloth and just make compresses uh, warm compresses, not hot, not cold, warm compresses, okay, on that area. All right, that's it for that, because uh, chamomile has been around with me for such for so many years, and it's a wonderful remedy. So next remedy also I wanted to talk about that I have learned about years ago, okay. I don't have a pill form, which I recommend for people with epilepsy, uh, if you're gonna take golden heel root okay so this is a golden heel root powder that I bought this this little pouch tiny little pouch is $50 worth of golden heel powder and this is because I get it from a guy where I don't pay too much all right so golden heel powder is very very expensive the reason why I say it's best for someone who does not know about golden seal and about how to use it and how much to use uh, it's the same idea as with uh, the elderberries that to have um, to have some kind of, co of control on how much you're actually using it's best to buy a ready to use remedy so with the powder would be the the capsules okay so you you buy it uh, capsules better than the tincture because tincture has alcohol in it so I don't recommend it for epilepsy and it's I, I just don't like it uh, and so uh, the pills are good and remember guys that golden seal powder will slightly raise your um, blood pressure the reason I'm saying it 
uh, not because I have learned it online, but because that's how uh, it acted on my body. Okay, so uh, I also have to be careful. I take very tiny amounts at the time. So when I take it, it's like one pill at a time. All right. Um, and for people with epilepsy, you have to ask. Um, you're, um, you have to ask someone who knows uh, whether you can take it, uh, where, whether it's going to uh, interact with the medical education. Uh, so anything, any of these things, okay, don't take them together with your meds. Take them apart, uh, two hours apart at, at least, and the four hours apart is the best um uh, kind of the best uh, way of doing it all right so next thing on the list i wanted to take two okay one more herb let me see is that all the herbs really okay all the herbs that i had here because uh, the covid tea that i show you has i think anywhere from 10 to 15 uh, 15 to 20 herbs in it okay so uh, we're gonna talk about it on my health channel okay so there's another thing that a lot of people use um, they don't know uh, its effect so uh, there is um, capsiation okay um, capsicum uh, there's a little tiny hot peppers they're, they're red peppers they're very slim and it's called uh, capsicum capsicum when it's like in a powder form all right so uh you guys if you have uh, epilepsy this is probably not the best remedy for you okay any hot peppers uh hot peppers are irritant uh they are warming to the body okay so uh they will raise the temperature in your body and they will also irritate your um, your bowels, and they will irritate your uh, your whole digestive system, and especially in the bowels. And so you, if you have epilepsy, you really don't want to be taking it. Okay, if you are a person who's constantly taking it and you're having a lot of seizures, this may be something that is causing a lot of these seizures. All right, so consider. Uh, you know alternatives okay uh, to that something that can be still warming like having a warm tea uh, another uh, you know herb that would be warming but uh, not have uh, like irritating effects uh, like uh, like capsicum does all right uh, so okay from this we're going to move to um, we're going to talk about uh, some of the spices now. So we're going to cover spices and then we're going to cover uh, supplements. All right. And then outside, like outside of the body uh, remedies and water treatments that you can do uh, for your colds, flu and your coronavirus. All right. So one of the great herbs um, and culinary uh, uh <laughs> culinary this is uh, our spice that I actually use now in every single one of my meals so when I run out of this I run to the store to get that right away okay um, next thing on okay so I added to uh, all of the uh, so all of the food uh, any soups I added to even to my rice I added to my po potatoes I added to the soups I added to everything that I that I cook that I prepare uh, any vegan meat uh, <laughs> that I cook Virginia loves even with the tofu um, uh, turmeric is excellent you can take it internally if you don't like the taste this is also bitter so all of these things are bitters okay this is a bitter so uh, golden seal root powder is a bitter uh, uh, 
this is a bitter uh, which ones are all the other bitters okay so this is a bitter as well all right and this is sage um so yeah use the um use the turmeric uh in your cooking okay if you don't feel you, that you know if you feel like you really dislike the taste you can take it in a uh, capsule capsule form okay so pill form and uh, use it uh, you go to a, a health food store and buy it in capsules all right uh, now I will post the links to all of these uh, these things uh, below the video so you guys can um, get it on Amazon all right uh, you obviously most of people shop on Amazon anyways you have it delivered to your home uh, so um, I will post the links there um, doesn't cost you anything extra to go through the links and it helps us okay as creators all right so uh, any other herbs that I have okay so uh, another herb uh, that I use and this is I, I do this daily so in cooking first of all uh, this is a garlic powder I like to buy it in the powder form there are also garlic flakes but I like it powder form so not too you know if you see the powder that's like really too powdery I would not go for that okay like too too grinded you like to see, you would want to see this powder uh, you know like a little bit like granules a little bit granules that's the best form and I use it in everything that I cook as well and after I cook my meal and this you have to be very careful with garlic guys uh, a lot of people with epilepsy they will have they may have a low blood pressure like uh, Virginia does and so consuming uh, large quantities of garlic would actually put your body at too low of a blood pressure for uh, uh, to be healthy a healthy level of blood pressure so I buy these this is garlic <laughs> I buy this in bulk <laughs> I like it because I'm, um, you know you buy like the whole thing and then I have it uh, here for uh, about a month maybe okay and so I um, I chop it very finely and I put it on top of the food after it's been cooked right before I eat it so very very finely chopped if you are just starting use only one clove of, of garlic okay please don't do this together with your uh, when you're taking your meds okay always apart from the meds anything that you're taking extra everything affects your body on uh, uh, on the physical level on a chemical level so the chemical is first when it comes to food and drink and uh, you know on a magnetic level we're talking about uh, earth magnetism and stuff like that so you have to be very careful what you are taking what you are ingesting so garlic this is I've been taking this uh, for months now the garlic the the reason why is because it helps me to get rid of the inflammation it helps me to clear the a lot of uh, phlegm out like you know to throw it out and it aids me with the inflammation like the golden seal does so I know when I was talking about the golden seal I didn't actually tell you guys that this is one of the best remedies um, this and the garlic are the best best remedy so raw garlic on top of your food make sure you mix it with food that you don't take it by itself it will burn okay so mix it with food very finely chopped raw okay and uh, my mom made uh, like made made it mix it with milk and honey when I was uh, uh, a child to make me drink it now uh, dairy is not it's a very big enemy for you if you are cold if you have a cold flu, flu or you have COVID guys stay away from any kind of dairy and it's best if you also stay away from meat it takes a very long time to process in your body so say um, if you're eating 
stuff, uh, eat uh, anything that's raw. So uh, apples, oranges, oranges, uh, this is oranges and apples, great vitamin C source for the oranges. If you have uh, if you have a chance to eat Valencia oranges, it's the best thing. You have to be careful. I was reading thing about oranges, and orange is actually the juice itself. I've been buying juice before, and it always affected Virginia in a bad way. So she had seizures after that, and um, I'm pretty sure it was because of it. Uh, so and the same thing with the capsicum mm -hmm. so I tell it to stay away from those things but it said online I was reading it and it said that Valencia oranges are actually okay for people with epilepsy so if you guys I have not found Valencia oranges in Toronto yet if anybody knows guys let me know because these are the oranges that I want to get she loves oranges she, lo she loves orange juice and I have not been able to get uh, my hands on uh, Valencia oranges yet okay uh, so garlic golden seal cleanses your lymphatic system both of them it it's an expectorant so it brings as a you know uh, so if you a lot of people buy syrup I just take garlic and I take this okay I hate syrups they're disgusting I'm sorry but I have I had to drink so many disgusting syrups in my lifetime that I really, really don't want to drink anymore. And I prefer this. This is super bitter. Uh, and I prefer the garlic, which is like, you have to make sure that it's mixed with food or, or it will burn. So if you have acid reflux or anything, you have to be careful how much you take. You have to eat it with food. Okay? And, um, oh, I'm just... And a lot of pain here, guys. Um, okay, so garlic and uh, reduce inflammation, bring out that heavy phlegm. Uh, I have been suffering from bronchitis, uh, it's genetic, uh, thanks to my father. Uh, so, and a lot of uh, sinus problem, a lot of accumulation here around my neck. I, when I do this, I feel like almost instantly better okay so that goes for a golden seal root make sure it's the root guys if uh, the herb is very much it's a lot cheaper it has almost no potency at all okay so it's the root powder that has that is the potent one uh, and the same for garlic raw garlic okay very finely minced make sure it's not in big chunks uh, you don't hurt your stomach lining a lot of people already have ulcers so you don't want to add to uh, problems that you already have okay Latoya are you still there? Sonia I'm oh <laughs> Latonia I, I, I have been calling uh, you uh, Latoya my apologies okay um, so uh, guys you see the uh, painting um, on my back this is I just wanted to quickly mention it's a friend of mine who sent it to me for my birthday and I told her I'm gonna <laughs> have it in um, in my stream so uh, as many times as I uh, I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna have it uh, in my stream uh, Virginia also have made some paintings and um, I'll I'll try to have some of she doesn't want to take them off the wall <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ask her for her permission to have it uh, a couple of times uh, in the stream as well. Alright, so uh, let me see if we have gone to, well, through the herbs that I have here. Because I told you for the COVID tea I use anywhere from 15, I can't even remember how many now, to 20 herbs, okay? So, I uh, wanted to make sure that I covered everything that I have here that I can show. And then the, the next, okay. I wanted to talk about a couple of things that, uh, for you guys to, uh, well, more than a couple. For you guys to stay away why, while uh, you are sick or as soon as you get uh, like bad symptoms. 
Um, now, one thing that I would recommend not to use anymore in your life is table salt for food, to put salt in your food, okay? I highly recommend a pink Himalayan salt, not necessarily this company, getting confused here. Okay, so uh, pink Himalayan salt as an alternative to table salt, to whatever sea salt, that stuff is super, super bad for you, okay? Uh, very unhealthy, um, it actually gives me heart palpitations, and a couple of times I thought, yeah, I wasn't going to make it, okay? And this was after just having uh, some extra table salt after a uh, few years of not using it I've decided you know I was gonna have some uh, food that had a lot of salt in it in a restaurant and it was a very bad call okay a very bad very close call uh, so I'm not gonna do that again but I do uh, the salt uh, retains water it's really bad for inflammation so stay away from table salt as a, just for gargling so I did actually buy salt uh, table salt but as a remedy so if I run out of sage for example or if I had to use it for gargling or for like disinfecting stuff salt is actually great for that okay and so I have it for that reason at home and for cooking any type of cooking I only use the salt uh, so okay uh, so we're done with the um, with the stuff that we add to our foods, okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna step next to the supplements, okay, the first, first supplement I want to talk about is vitamin D, okay, not necessarily this company, now I had to be, I had to be really uh, buying stuff that I can afford lately, I cannot go and, you know, buy anything that I want, but uh, I found this, actually, this company is pretty good. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where it comes to vitamin D, the, uh, the reason I like this one, so they, they actually sell it in two different forms, so you can buy it in a capsule, uh, uh, like a oil capsule, which I cannot take because I have... Uh, gallbladder issues, uh, so I cannot use the oil ones, uh, so I get the ones that are like pills, okay, and those are fine for me to take if you have uh, gallbladder issues. So the most and most and most important thing, guys, is to take your vitamin D every single day. Find out uh, how deficient you are, because there are actually uh, the biggest studies, now I've been t telling people about vitamin D for a really, really long time, and um, they're just doing studies right now, they've they done studies, and then now the media is actually saying, oh, take vitamin D, you have to take vitamin D for the COVID, and, you know, it helps you uh, to boost your immune system, uh, to help you, your bones, and if you don't if you don't take it, you're going to have a very, uh, first of all, very weak immune system because we need vitamin D for every function of our body, for the brain, for the bone, and for health, uh, for the immune system. So, uh, again, I will post the links below the video, guys, for you to go and get this. If you don't have vitamin D at home, all right, you need to buy it right away. So, your first thing on the list of anything else would be vitamin D, my recommendation, uh, okay, golden seal, all right, Himalayan salt, so your alternative to table salt, which is really, really bad for you, okay, oh, and one other thing that I didn't talk about is a coconut oil, okay, this is, well, this is the one I, I buy, I bought la last time, uh, so I used to buy a little bit, like a different company in smaller uh, jars, but I buy it cold pressed, uh, so it's, uh, is this one, it says virgin, I'm not sure, let me see, oh, I don't know, but it's organic, oh yes, organic virgin coconut oil, 
make sure that the stuff that you buy is cold pressed. If it does not smell like coconut, when you open the jar, it is not coconut, okay? It has to smell like coconut. So I'm already almost done. And so yeah, I will need more. And um, coconut oil is uh, one of the best uh, coconut uh, water, milk, the, the juice, the pulp. And the oil is one of the best remedies for the brain, uh, for rebuilding brain cells, uh, for also for killing viruses and bacteria, okay? So, uh, guys, if you don't use this, I'm not talking to use, I'm not saying to use it in your cooking, because coconut oil, if it's cold pressed, it's for a reason you put it in your food after it's been cooked, okay? Uh, this is to ingest the stuff that's raw, uh, that is in a healthy form, that uh, the molecules are not processed, alright, uh, and I'm also going to put the link, it's already actually in a few of our past videos, I put this in the link uh, in the, in the below the video, uh, to make sure that you guys get uh, access to this, okay, cold pressed coconut oil, it's antiseptic, antiviral, antifungal and I have actually a video uh, on uh, my health channel so real excel health uh, if you're looking for the video just type real excel health and benefits of the coconut okay benefits of uh, coconut and you find the video okay you find me real excel and then you know it's my it's my video okay I, th I think I've listed like 50 different benefits there so guys um, it's a great, great remedy, um, and um, if you don't open your own coconuts, if you have, um, if you have seizures, have somebody to do it for you. I love young coconuts. I have not been able to actually purchase any for a long time uh, because of the well financial issues. But that's another story. So oil is uh, the next. Uh, like remedy that you know that is you can take like one uh, spoon of this uh, and uh, you need your daily intake of fats for a healthy brain and for a healthy body okay uh, avocado oil which I forgot to bring avocados are super super wonderful for you uh, they're also super very healthy and aloe vera which I don't have it here either so guys for aloe vera always go for the stuff that's natural in its raw form as raw and as natural as possible the moment it's been heated and processed uh, the food is no longer molecularly right for your body okay so just uh, you know keep that in mind when you're getting stuff and you think you're getting benefits uh, you're not okay if you're buying orange juice that's been cooked you're not really buying benefits, okay? That vitamin C has already been processed. You're not really getting vitamin C, a real one anyway. So eat your oranges if that's what, uh, you know, that's, that's how you want to get your vitamin C. Okay, so next thing, after the vitamin D. So vitamin D, again, I'm going to go back to it. If you cannot be outside for prolonged time, and we're talking about people in the south because like right now in the north uh, hemisphere we practically get like no vitamin d at all because uh, my eyes are covered my face is covered my head is covered my hands are covered because i'm wearing gloves and now we have a mask so there's like no vitamin d actually getting on the skin for us to be able to absorb any so uh this is the way to go and uh, make sure that you take enough of these we need 10,000 IUs. I do, I'm not telling you to take 10 of those pills. When you're starting out, take one pill a day. Okay? Take take one of these cups a day. And um, not with your meds. Okay? And uh, then build, uh, build uh, this over time. Okay? So that's how I told Virginia to do because she said, oh, uh, I took uh, three of those, 
and it gave me a headache. So you cannot, okay? So even my even myself, uh, I could only take one for a really really long time, and I've actually started taking two at a time, uh, just recently. And uh, I take it with food, so it's you know it's mixed, and so I don't uh, get that headache that I used to get if I took two before. All right. So next thing after vitamin D. Oh, this is something I wanted to mention. Now, if you are in uh, Europe, okay, if you are a person who, well, I grew up in Europe, and I have been, uh, I have a very, I have so many frequent flyer miles in Polish hospital uh, that you wouldn't believe uh, as a child. And so what they do over there when people are in the hospital, they give them supplements they give them depending on what the person has but usually uh, vitamin B C and D okay sometimes a depends on uh, the person's uh, whatever it is whatever they're in the hospital for I don't know if they still do it if they still practice it uh, this we are talking uh, 40 years later 40 some years later okay so 40 like six <laughs> years later okay uh, and um, uh, so next thing on the list is vitamin C okay so th the ones I'm showing you guys is those are the vitamins that I have been able to purchase uh, in the local pharmacy okay um, I will post links down below the video again so you can get your vitamin C on Amazon, alright, you don't have to be running to the pharmacy uh, to get it. Now, so this is a number two, okay, along together with the vitamin D. Guys, you take vitamin D, you have to take vitamin C, okay, and we also, uh, we also, I don't have uh, magnesium, so magnesium in a 12 form, in a in a capsule form, okay, uh, this is a diglossinate, biglossinate, okay, so this is one of the best absorb, uh, absorption magnesium, so I will talk about magnesium flake and epsom salts a little bit later, but, so this is magnesium, um, vitamin C, okay, along with vitamin D, you really need to absolutely take this together, okay, so uh, vitamin C to boost your immune system, to help you, s to help to keep your skin healthy. I'm in a lot of pain, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm just kind of leaning more and more, <laughs> uh, but it's because I'm in pain. Okay, so um, vitamin C. You can have actually uh, high doses of vitamin C and they're supposed to be safe for you. Now anything that you take, guys, remember again, I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, get an okay from your uh, medical professional uh, or from, your, uh, from a person who uh, recommends uh, your naturopath who recommends things for you, okay? Uh, so that's, that's it on vitamin C. Now if you have uh, like skin eruptions and stuff vitamin c os is also a great thing great way for you to to help to dry to those things out okay uh, acne especially um, higher doses of vitamin c are going to help you to dry out the, the acne problem okay so the next thing that's on the market right now is uh, zinc okay i also uh, i think this one i got in the pharmacy yeah I got this in the pharmacy as well. Uh, zinc is a, a big thing right now that so they're talking about it. Now, I've taken it. I don't like how uh, my skin responds to it. Like I, uh, I think my my I don't know if my body likes this thing, but so I have not been taking it all the time. But I do have it, and I take it sometimes when I'm like not feeling well. As I take this thing as a supplement. Okay. Um, any other supplements I have here that I want to show you? Let me see. Okay, so those are the main ones, okay? 
that I wanted to uh, address. There are other things that you know they recommend online. So always before you decide to taking to take anything, uh, do your homework, uh, investigate things online. Always, always, always cross reference with the meds that you're already taking. So especially uh, with epilepsy, anything that you're taking for uh, you know uh, that has been prescribed, you have to uh, cross reference. Make sure that it is safe. Okay, so. Uh, some of the things, for example, if you take some um, meds, you cannot go out in the sun. So that could affect uh, things if you taking vitamin D. Why can't you go in the sun when you're taking certain meds? You have to ask your questions. Ask your doctor. Talk to your medical professional before you decide. Okay, before you're taking it together, if you're taking those meds that you cannot, that you're not supposed to be you know in the sun uh, for some reason uh, okay so one next thing uh, we're gonna move to water therapy and we're gonna move to see how we're talking about magnesium now this is super super heavy okay <laughs> Epsom salts okay for pain and as a magnesium kind of supplement uh, in a different way, so uh, absorbed through the skin. Now there are no actual big extensive, any big extensive, um, uh, what do you call them? Studies yet on magnesium uh, absorption <coughs> through the skin. Now what I'm gonna tell you from my past experience, it has worked for me. Uh, it has worked wonders for my inflammation, for how I feel the next day. Now, uh, if you have seizures, do not take baths. Okay, I do. I don't have seizures, so I take uh, when I when I'm actually uh, able to, uh, you know, get or, or when I decide because I'm in extreme pain all the time. So it's very scary for me to actually get in the bathtub uh, because of the pain that I feel that when I move all the time. So I have to be careful I don't injure myself while I'm doing that. But uh, when I do uh, get a bath, Epsom salts, uh, make sure that you guys um, use adequate amount of Epsom salt to your body weight and to the amount of water in the bathtub. You can do Epsom salt foot soaks, okay, which is wonderful. And you can do um, actually magnesium. So you, uh, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I was talking about these magnesium flakes, okay. So this is ancient. I I also posted the link below the video for for these. Uh, so uh, these are magnesium flakes. These are stronger than the Epsom salt, and you can put the flakes uh, in the water. Okay, so just put like one teaspoon of flakes in a spray bottle, and mix it well, and then you can spray it uh, on your body. Don't wipe it off. Leave it on. Okay, that's for the magnesium flakes. For the Epsom salts. Make sure if you, okay, if you're a caregiver, this is a wonderful thing for you. You're going to thank me hundreds, millions of times, okay, because, um, and make sure that you stay in that water for about at least an hour, okay? Make that effort, your body is going to feel super, super wonderful the next day. Oh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, like, within about half an hour of laying in the water you're gonna you know turn over and over make sure that you're getting uh, those salts absorbed uh, front and back and uh, you know add warm water as the water cools off uh, but it's best not to have the water super super hot it's better if, if it's like just a tepid water uh, comfortable for your body's temperature it's better if it's just slightly uh, cooler than your body so uh, you know when you when it's comfortable for your body that's how you're going to know this is the right temperature for it okay it will be cooler than your body and you're going to have a better absorption uh, to the skin that way okay 
So uh, as opposed to they were saying, uh, oh, you know, take a hot bath, uh, your body does not. It kind of tries to, uh, you know, prevent uh, from the things getting in when when the water is too hot. So you want it to be, uh, you want it to be cool. You want it to be comfortable because you want to be able to uh, lay down in that water for uh, an hour. Okay, all right. Not if you have epilepsy. Oh, hi, Matthew. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you for coming on the stream. And uh, so, uh, guys, if you have any suggestions or any remedies that you are using for COVID, for flu, and uh, for colds, uh, so let us know. Okay, what what your remedies are? Okay. Um, so we talked about the Epsom salt. We talked about the magnesium flakes. So magnesium flakes. If you're adding it to water, so this huge, it's a three and a half, almost 3.6 kilograms. So this is six, seven, this is like eight pounds almost, okay? It said, use the whole package. I could not lay down not even half an hour in that thing. And it, it's, it's a very, it's super expensive, okay? So, and that was, well, that was like last year or a year, two years ago, I think that I, I did the uh, first time the whole package and then uh, I bought this package last year and only use uh, a small amount I, I use like half a cup um, added to my Epsom salt okay sometimes I add a little bit less but the Epsom salt do the, the job where it comes to pain and then I add this for the spray to put the spray uh, on my body so Matthew says, I'm doing okay. Uh, I finally got my seizures to stop. Super awesome. Um, how, uh, well, if you don't mind asking, uh, was, uh, how, how did you do it? What worked for you? Uh, was it just, you know, like the, the right timing? Did you, you know, start sleeping a lot more? Because that, you, that uh, also helps people a lot. Uh, now Virginia has, for example, change her sleeping habits so she sleeps now about 12 hours a day and um, over time uh, it helped and I told her that if she has not slept for years before she only slept like you know two to three hours a night uh, when she was a child she has to make up for it now and if she sleeps 12 hours a day that's fine makes her feel better makes her feel rested and she needs to rebuild her brain cells and that's the only time it happens is when the person is asleep uh so matthew if you want to share uh how you overcame this uh now virginia for example uh when she was with her broken uncle uh in a hospital last year uh we have a few videos on that you guys are welcome to uh go and watch them uh, on you know what she went through and uh, you know she had uh, you know an unfortunate uh, seizure and you know she broke her bones and then she had to go actually for another surgery this year to take the metal plate and the screws out of her uh, out of her ankle so uh, well she had to go through the surgery again and through the process again so this summer was not fun either for her uh, but yeah you know what can you do right uh, so that's that's over now she has built uh, her uh, bone density because she was just saying on our one of our last videos she was talking about uh, her vitamin D deficiency and how um, the doctor when when she had the surgery uh, on her uncle said that uh, her bones were super super uh, porous meaning uh, they were not dense enough for her age and that she had super brittle and weak bones and that she had to take vitamin D so this uh, finally uh, motivated her to take the supplements that have been buying for her for years that she's not been using before and she finally understood the importance of taking vitamin D and now she knows that if she doesn't take it, she actually has vertigo and she feels weak and she feels weird. She says, oh, I feel weird. And it's, it's because you don't have the most important main ingredient in your body, which, you know, you need for every function of your body, okay? It's the vitamin D. 
So, uh, I lost my, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, so I was talking about the Epsom salts, okay, and then uh, hydrotherapy, okay. So, we're done with the Epsom salts. For you guys with epilepsy, do the food baths as opposed to full body baths. Uh, moms and dads and family of people with epilepsy, I highly recommend the Epsom salts. They're a lot cheaper, okay. You can add the uh, magnesium flakes to your Epsom, okay, uh, bath uh, in smaller quantities, so it's not going to be as expensive. And uh, you can buy actually pockets of Epsom salt in uh, even in a dollar store, which uh, I did uh, when I was visiting dollar store many times. I bought them in like pockets of like one pound of Epsom salt. For me, I have to use at least two pounds of those. Uh, I, us I usually use two and a half pounds of that uh, for myself, okay, to soak because I'm big and uh, I need more and I'm in a lot of pain, so, and, and I take it for pain mostly, right, makes me feel better. Okay, so we're done with the supplements, yes, we're done, okay, and I already showed you the spray for the magnesium, so as an alternative absorption for uh for the uh, magnesium okay because magnesium is not absorbed so again uh when they're talking about absorption of minerals through the skin uh you know those minerals were absorbed in the natural way when we still used to live in nature and we took our uh, bath in a river or in a lake and that's how naturally you're supposed to take it because then your body uh, naturally absorbs um, the water uh, in its proper molecular cons uh, consistency and, uh, and you know, you drink uh, natural water. It's also, also uh, molecularly correct for our bodies and, and healthy, okay, in a healthy way. So I recommend, now I, we have not been able to but I recommend, uh, so this one says natural spring water, but we've been going to Canadian Springs, uh, well, in the summer, whenever we could, because it's been harder and harder with my uh, health issues, and Virginia is all together, so we've been, it's been super hard, but whenever we can, we go and get the water, we fill out as many bottles as we can, and we bring them home, okay? Uh, so water is your best drink. Oh, and I was talking about, uh, I was going to talk about foods and drinks not to take uh, when you um, when you have a cold or when you're about to come up with, you know, some kind of, uh, you come up with symptoms, stay away uh, from sugar, okay, and stay away from table salt, white sugar, table salt, stay away from those things, okay. I like really really on a huge scale all right that goes for soft drinks as well very bad for you stay away from bread stay away from dairy okay uh, so if you must eat bread instead of eating you know like two uh, slices of bread or whatever just eat one slice or half a slice or whatever but try to stay away from bread uh, because it will just cause more more inflammation and dairy and cheese so milk and cheese is the worst okay so stay away from those for cold flu in a time when you have a cold flu and uh or coronavirus just like a plague just stay away from it okay even um try to stay away from meat i think did i already say that i'm not sure um so try to stay also from meat because it takes a long time to process okay so matthew says uh, I slept around 2 a.m. to 7 p.m. And um, I also had an old remedy to get rid of it. Uh, if you want to know more about, uh, message me, uh, Matthew. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know how, how this came through because, uh, oh. Usually the links are not supposed to show up in uh, in the what do you call it 
in the chat so I don't know how this uh, showed up okay yeah you know uh, yeah that's something that I I'm gonna yeah so I, d I don't want this uh, since I don't know about this remedy and what, what that is I'm not gonna leave it there guys okay uh, so the next thing is and it, it, be careful for um, I want to tell you to be careful for what uh, sometimes people claim things and they ask for money uh, to buy remedies and stuff so you guys have to be super careful and if something is not proven, it's not out on the market, proven by someone that you trust, uh, then don't don't take it because you don't know what's in it, okay? So, and there are a lot of products on the market and you have to be really, really super careful uh, that, you know, you don't get hurt in the process. So, okay, now we're going to go, um, so foods to stay away, I already told you. Uh, sugar, salt, uh, bread, and dairy, and animal products, if you can. Your best, your best, best thing is raw fruits and veggies, okay? And, um, uh, nuts, okay, as well. Uh, so, if you like, uh, you know, you look for an alternative, almond milk, as opposed to, uh, instead of, uh, regular cow's milk, okay? very highly recommend okay water therapy uh, one of the most important ones okay this is sunbeam uh, uh, what do you call it not the purifier it's a sunbeam uh, vapor not vaporizer humidifier sorry so I do have a vaporizer as well uh, they're cheaper, but they um, they only last for like an hour or two, okay? And then the whole, you, you fill up the whole unit, and in uh, less than two hours, you know, it's, it's off. So I prefer this. I bought this many years ago, like many, many years ago. And I also posted the link below the video for that, uh, because I wanted to make sure that you guys have an opportunity to buy a product that's high quality and that's gonna last you for years. Now, uh, one thing with the humidifiers and vaporizers, you need to make sure that you cleanse them and that you remove the calcium deposits uh, on a regular basis. So uh, you can do that by adding um, uh, by adding uh, vinegar, so white vinegar. Uh, to a little bit of white vinegar to uh, the water and make sure that it you know it goes through the cycle don't breathe that in just put it you know apart from it and then just have it cleanse itself at the time and make sure you wash it after and then you remove all that calcium and then you're ready to go again for uh, I don't know a few months a couple of months okay until you need to clean it again keep it clean and you're gonna have a unit for many many years to go now, uh, so uh, uh, having a uh, humidifier in your room in the winter time, okay, 24-7, the air is dry. I'm going to have a drink, guys, because I am super thirsty. Thirsty? Okay. Mm. It's my Polish tea mm, with lemon. Sorry, that's the lemon super nice okay so um uh water therapy okay so uh, the vaporizer have it on uh if you can 24 7 if it's not necessary at least for the time that you're sleeping please do not do that so what is that did you paint that no, this is Mary gave that to me for my birthday. Wow! This is how she feels when she has seizures. Well, I can relate. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> I mean, I can relate. Yeah, that's. Oh amazing. yeah, oh, you see but all that? Amazing. You, you see the 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 like the bad guy here? Yeah. Uh, and you know the flowers and like the clock is like it's all amazing. warped. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. And this is she says this is how she how she all these emotions the colors are like all the emotions that come out yeah, at that, once. Yeah, that, that's exactly how it feels. And I, th I think this is what I think it is. Is Mary in the chat? Uh, no, I don't think she... No, she, I don't see her, so... Okay. Well, if you hear from her, tell her I think her painting is beautiful. Okay, I yeah. Can, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, oh, hi, Sophie. Uh, I'm hi, sorry. Sophie. Come, come and say hi. I come on. Virginia is super, super busy. Oh, okay. She's she's uh, in a busy mode today. So hi. So sorry, I'm late. I was ha having dinner, so I understand. I know I uh, I posted this a little bit earlier in the day today. I could not do it. Uh, I was not feeling well, so I posted it a little bit later when I could uh, sleep the pain off and. Uh, be here for you guys. So, um, Mafia says I don't make people to have to buy my remedy. So, uh, Mafia, before I, I let anybody have uh, uh, any link uh, to the channel, I will, you know, look at, look at it and I like to discuss it with you and I am very interested. Uh, so, uh, we can definitely talk. Okay. Jane, Jane says hi. Hi, Jane. Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, welcome to the stream. And uh, <laughs> you sell it for free. Okay, Mafia says he sells it for free. Um, oh, and Sophie says hi there, Miss Virginia. Hi. She misses you. People miss you on the stream. Okay, so uh, we're talking about water therapy. Okay, so water therapy uh, for people with epilepsy is uh, quite tricky uh, because uh, of uh, uh, the fact that, you know, the water, you should not be taking baths if you have seizures and uh, Anything that comes to with dealing with the water, including uh, boiling hot water and pour, you know, and making yourself a tea, which has resulted very dangerously for Virginia. We actually have a video where she burned half of her body uh, because of it. Uh, she had a seizure. Uh, she was actually she had a seizure, uh, one of those trauma seizures, and she was awake for it and so that was even worse because uh that was a horrible experience for both of us uh she was just a couple of meters away from me and she did not not ask me to pour that hot water for her which you know i told her why didn't you ask me to do it but anyways the thing the the long story short is when you're dealing with water uh hot water uh super cold water outside so with snow uh, being in a cold weather you have to be very careful because those are all things that it's best that if you have someone around that you know if you're in those situations who can assist you okay so pouring uh, making hot tea okay so have somebody at home pour uh, make the tea for you pour the hot water you can boil the water just make sure somebody else is pouring it for you and don't drink, don't pick it up until you're ready to drink, okay? If you have tremors, like Virginia did in the past, uh, there was, she had a, a time where she could not walk at all, when she had tremors that she could not hold any of the food um, uh, in her hands, so everything would, you know, just kind of end up on the floor and stuff. So I had to feed her at those times. I had to be very careful uh while feeding her making sure that she's okay while she's eating uh so yeah so those were you know things that you gotta watch for uh okay sophie says hello jay matthew and latanya super super um so uh guys uh share your uh you know things that you do uh for COVID if you want to 
share some of the things, remedy, home remedies that, or herbal remedies uh, that you use at home. Uh, now, uh, at some point, uh, Virginia was, uh, you know, w we're not supposed to kind of talk about it, but she was using oil uh, for the epilepsy when I was able to afford it. Uh, it did not make a difference. I know you have to have the proper uh, type and the proper amount, and you're supposed to build up the amount of the oil to help you. So uh, we did not have uh, the financial means to do that because you really have to have a lot of money to be able to, uh, you know, to address that. Okay. Uh, so Virginia, uh, as I was talking about Virginia being in the hospital for her broken ankle, you know, I cut the story short for some, I think Virginia came in the room, I can't remember why, you know, I, I just lost the thought, but this was the time when we got the, uh, when we got, the, when we got the, the neurologist that was in the hospital that found the proper meds for her yeah, but 13 that years later. That neurologist was part of the EMU before she worked in the emu before going to the yeah hospital. she was but, wonderful but she I came to in something. to see virginia like three to five times a day virginia yeah, how are you doing making, yeah she was making sure I she was making like okay, special so, uh hang on hang on yeah i i want to say something okay so the thing is that you what do you have to always remember a little bit lower because i can't see it. okay you what everybody has yourself. to oh it's funny i'm wearing the epilepsy <laughs> Uh, what everybody has to remember is that what works this for way. somebody uh, might not work for somebody else. Yeah. Uh, so, like, CBD oil works for some people, but it did not work for me. Uh, no, I, no I, was just saying, I was just saying that I don't think we have the right strain, but I think it's because a lot of people claim it really works for them. It's possible, and but that takes so a many, lot of money and a lot of experimenting with, yeah so with, i said we don't have with that amounts kind of and, and yeah. different strains and you know it, it there are hundreds of different strains and if you don't have the right one for you no, body thousands. types thousands so yeah there are thousands so and guys growing, yeah so, so just just more. just don't mention that name we're not supposed to talk about the uh, oil I, but I just said I oil yeah mama cbd oil is Mama, it's fine to take CBD oil. Okay. Well, you know, they, 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 those are new restrictions, I think. Um, okay, so Matthew says, Okay, my sister said, For me to just say how the remedy goes, uh, coconut and lemon bubble bath. Okay. Uh, then cook all uh, the meals with coconut oil. Always and always, always, always drink cranberry grape. Okay, so um, the cranberry grape works for you. I am very happy. Now, uh, Virginia gets super sick. Oh no, that's that's uh, Virginia. Which one is the one you don't like? Pomegranate. Okay, pomegranate. So not cranberry, but you guys be careful with the grape. Uh, there are some, uh, for epilepsy, there are some precautions when it comes to like grape seed juice or anything like that, or even grapes. So you have to be careful, okay? Always, uh, if you take anything and it makes you sick, uh, don't take it. Now, I know for a fact that this will not make, gonna make you sick, okay? So this is a cold press, uh, coconut, uh, oil, all right? So Matthew says he cooks with it, the best, and uh, lemon, you get vitamin C, so you, you're doing great because you are actually, and these are very good cold remedies, I bet your immune system is super good, okay? <laughs> so coconut oil, everyday guys, for your brain, okay? Take it after you cook, so you can still cook with, let's say, um, uh, olive oil, Okay, which I still buy cold press and I still cook it with that. Uh, but I like the uh, I, the coconut oil. I buy it mainly for Virginia. Uh, it's a little bit heavy for me, so I can um, uh, avocados, natural avocados, real real avocado uh, fruit. It's you know fruit. Uh, it's actually best for me uh, because I have gallbladder trouble. So. Uh, I have issues that, you know, I, I can't take oil. But for you guys, 
uh, this is a great thing so even avocado oil and avocados a uh, coconut milk coconut coconut water coconut pulp uh, if you have someone who can open a young coconut for you and you can afford it even olives Virginia has been eating all the olives in the house <laughs> Olive oil is not gonna like do that much. It's a less concentration. So what? I was just saying, how much you eat all the olives in that house? <laughs> Even though I said, no, hey, I left half a can for you in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, half. Okay. I left half a can. Okay. Do so do I have to eat it? You know, I do buy the baby for you, right? I wanna have a but few. Did you eat it? Yes, I wanna have a you few. You ate the half that was. I know it was way too much for me, but I know if I didn't eat it, you will. <laughs> I have to go and buy more, but yes, olives are super, super good for you as well, all right? Oh, okay, so Sophie says, uh, oh, okay, uh, we, di we didn't finish. So, uh, the coconut oil is a wonderful idea. Lemon is super good. Now, uh, for the bath, for anyone who has seizures, guys, I do not recommend, okay? So, uh, ingesting coconut and lemon, uh, very good. Uh, lemon juice, uh, make it in the tea if you want. And, uh, I know if that works for you, Matthew, I am super, super happy, especially sleeping extra hours is also, uh, one of the best remedies. So, this was something I was going to talk about, epilepsy immune system to boost your immune system a sleeping the the time when the body recovers and rebuilding your cells is only happens when you sleep okay so if you're cutting your sleep short every single night you are robbing yourself of uh, essential um, of the possibility of staying healthy of being healthy okay so uh, uh, Sophie says, I live with an immunocompromised, uh, I live with an immunocompromised loved one mm -hmm. who I take as many precautions as need to protect my mom as uh, a two-time cancer survivor and I have asthma, which makes me high risk as well. So Sophie, uh, Okay, for asthma, uh, obviously, you know, it's it's a, uh, it's a huge thing. I have bronchitis, so I've been taking the gold. I was talking about the golden seal. Uh, very careful, guys. Buy capsules first. Uh, use one capsule, okay? Apart from your meds. Uh, take it at different times. But this is a great thing to help breathing. Now, this is the one for breathing. And also the garlic. I was talking about the garlic. If you can eat raw garlic, very finely minced with food, okay, because I was talking about it before you came on the stream, uh, so that's a great thing, okay, raw garlic minced, okay, uh, mixed with food, all right, only start with one clove only, if you have to be very careful, it lowers the blood pressure, uh, so you need to be very careful that your blood pressure does not go too low. Um... So Sophie says, so I wear a mask and sanitizer. Okay, so uh, alcohol, uh, what I did, what I started doing is uh, when you use it from the bottle, it's usually used too much. So I got a spray bottle, I transferred to a spray bottle and I use the spray. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, you know, you kind of save a little bit of uh, you know, you don't spill it, so you save a little bit of alcohol. And so right now it's super expensive, all the uh, alcohol and, and uh, those gels and right now. So, uh, you know, everybody's kind of taking advantage of uh, the situation uh, by putting the prices high. Okay, so wearing a mask is definitely a, a, a prevention 
washing your hands, washing your face. Remember guys, at the beginning of the video I was talking about washing your face, washing your nose. You, uh, so you wash your face, uh, your ears, around your ears, because that's where you put the mask on, here, your neck. And then wash your eyes, nose, and mouth very well, okay? Make sure that area is all clean. Uh, so no olives, oh, Ma Matthew says no olives, olives will make your uh, senses go spiral. Okay, um, doesn't work for everybody, Virginia loves olives, uh, and I, I know it's genetic, her father loves olives, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, my father loved olives, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too keen about olives, I like them when they slice, and not just add a little, little bit of taste yeah even though black olives they were they had too much salt in them i didn't like them so i don't like them when they're too salty anyway uh so uh sophie says i also have protein oh uh, sorry i also have gotten in the habit of washing my hands even though uh, it is hard for me uh sensory wise so washing your hands, um, so when I use, uh, when I wash my face and my hands, so first you come out from outside or whatever, uh, where you're sharing area with somebody else as well, so um, uh, guys, keep your sink clean. I have actually a spray bottle with like a, a soap, with a dish soap in it, and I spray my uh, sink. And if uh, two or three times a day and I and I wash it because I know that we are uh, you know we are uh, the two of us and I just want to make sure that you know we don't kind of what oh yeah yeah so anyways, yeah, I, I wash it as often as possible, like if, okay, if any of us like brushes the teeth or, or something, um, then, you know, just making sure that uh, the area is clean after, uh, so we don't cross -con contaminate if we bring something uh, from the outside, okay, uh, your common areas should always uh, be clean, as clean as possible, you know, the water tap when you're opening it. So wearing a mask, washing your hands, I use very mild soap, but you know, soap it up good, uh, wash your face after you came from outside, take your, all of the outside clothes, don't walk around uh, in them at home, uh, you know, change when you get home, uh, the outside clothes, leave them at the door, and then change to home clothes, alright, uh, if you can take a shower, it's best, uh, so if you don't, uh, take your showers before you go to bed and you know before you wear your pajamas and stuff okay um uh, matthew says uh asthma and bronchitis uh for uh me here oh yeah i am so sorry you know to hear that because i've been going through a breathing problem i also have sleep apnea so some of you may also uh, suffer from that and so uh, bronchitis and breathing problems and getting sick especially with colds and flu and and i've had pneumonia so i was saying how uh last year we both had uh, last winter we both had very bad pneumonia uh one was worse than the other uh and uh well we overcame that and so i i presume that was actually uh, or i assumed that was COVID. Uh, that we didn't know about it at the time because it was not out yet. <laughs> it was not out uh, publicly known yet, okay? Uh, so, uh, Sophie says, uh, like before all of the COVID, I would uh, clean my hand every uh, morning in the shower with the rest of the body but i never spend time to wash the hands so yeah so that's an extra thing that i have learned myself this year okay um like i have never you know just wash regularly just like a quick wash whatever but i have actually this year i have learned how to wash my hands with soap make sure that soap is applied that it's you know that you're lathering that you're using water using lather you repeat 
so I actually been using a lot of soap <laughs> more than usual but um, yeah so that's a great uh, prevention from a mask uh, even gloves you can wear gloves when you go outside don't touch your face don't touch your eyes okay it's a habit that needs to be see like I got like itchy let's say I itchy nose I have itchy nose later on I'm gonna go and wash my face again and I'm gonna put soap around my nose here to make sure that I get rid of whatever it is make trying to make its way inside of me okay and I know it is because if it's itchy it's your body telling you that there's something they're trying to get in what there's a bug, just one? Oh, I don't think there's just one. I think there's a whole army trying to get in there. That's not happening. I'm going to get rid of those guys before they get in. Okay, and if they do get in, they have another army of these guys. Okay, a golden seal protecting me. So for breeding, uh, uh, for breeding uh, things, so you have the golden seal and uh, the garlic. Okay. So this is just right off the bat. There are other things like fennel seeds that you can make a tea from. You have to be careful uh, for epilepsy. You need to check if you're okay with fennel seeds. So not everybody is okay who has epilepsy with fennel seeds. Apart from your meds as well. Okay. Expectorant. So uh, my COVID tea has a lot of um, a lot of expectorant herbs in it. Okay. I am going to make a full video on my com on my comedy <laughs> on my health channel um a real excel health okay I'm going to do it this week I'm going to post every uh herb that I put in it and most of these herbs are um expectorant so meaning um they help to bring out that phlegm out of your chest out of your body uh, they uh, anti-inflammatory so they help to get rid of like inflammation and stuff from the body and those are the best herbs for you uh, because they're going to help you you know cleanse the system and that's the whole point that your lungs are clean that you know your uh, your breathing your, your breathing kind of system is clean so you're able to uh, bring that oxygen to your body and to your cells okay uh, to stay healthy and to stay strong Uh, so, uh, as Sophie says, I know, uh, I know how dirty that is, but I could not wash the hands. Uh, so Matthew says, but the remedy that I said earlier, it's helping with my bronchitis. You should try it. So I believe you. Okay. So, uh, the water therapies. Okay. The ones that I didn't go into it yet. Uh, okay, so the Sophie said, I'm going to talk about the therapy uh, in a second. Uh, the only soap I can tolerate sensory-wise is dish soap. I cannot take a normal hand soap. Okay, so yeah, everybody has, uh, you know, especially people with epilepsy, they have, uh, you know, they do develop some kind of uh, skin issues with different uh, soaps. So Virginia had actually issues with skin ever since she was a baby and you know uh, as a mother uh, you have to know like I could not find diapers that worked for her I had to go with cloth diapers and you know that's a lot of work but uh, she could not tolerate any brand and uh, that goes for any brand and that goes for non-brand and she just I just yeah so anyways Water therapy. So, uh, from uh, having a humidifier at home, okay, vaporizer. If you don't have one, if you're in the northern hemisphere, get one, okay. Uh, make an effort, uh, get somebody to help you purchase it. If you, you know, if you don't have the funds for it, uh, get someone maybe in the family to do it for you to help you uh, to get it, you know, to help to buy it for you, okay. So that's for the, especially if you're sleeping, if you have a breathing problem, you have bronchitis, you have asthma, you should have those things. Now, another thing is the vapor, um, I showed it in one of my previous videos, I did at the beginning of the year with Virginia, 
Okay, so you put the basin. This is for people who don't have seizures because I don't recommend it. Uh, I don't recommend having your head over a hot basin of water if you have seizures. Okay, this is only for people who don't have them. And I will talk about the alternative to that in a minute. But so um, for people who don't have seizures, you put uh, hot water or warm water as warm as possible so the vapors can come up. You put a towel over your head, okay, and you breathe in the vapors, clean vapors. You can put some chamomile, uh, you can make it as a chamomile tea, which is going to help you to uh, soothe a little bit of the dryness uh, in your lungs. Uh, you can use a little bit of mint tea, which I didn't bring here because there, there would be no room for all of the herbs that I have here anyway. <laughs> Okay, so uh, mint and chamomile, you can use those for the vapors. Now, there's an alternative uh, that I think that would work very, very good for people with epilepsy. There are uh, steam uh, things for fate. It's supposed to help people with uh, just to do like a facial, okay? But it brings the steam to the face, and obviously you'll be able to... Uh, bring it to your lungs as well so that would be something that um, I would recommend I was I know I never purchased it so uh, this is something you guys if you have that at home I'd like you to comment on that okay tell me if you have it tell me if you use it uh, the steam um, the hot water steam uh, inhalation of the steam as a remedy to help you uh, breathe, okay, is a great remedy. It's been used for hundreds of years ever since, you know, it was discovered. And it's a great home remedy for that. Uh, but again, uh, if any of you have those uh, facial steamers, guys, let me know if you can comment on that uh, below the video. Uh, let us know, you know, how it works for you. Uh, and you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look at them online and I'll post a link for you guys. Okay. Now, when you are, sh when you are shopping on Amazon, make sure that you go to the link in the proper country. I'm going to, uh, USA is right on top of the page and then Canada is just uh, below the USA. So you go scroll over to, uh, the Canadian, uh, Amazon instead of, you know, don't use the links from the U S it will not work for you but in your country. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, Oh, okay. I missed it guys. I don't know. Okay. You checked a couple of, uh, messages, but that's fine. So water therapy, another one is taking, making sure that your body is clean every day, okay? So taking showers, when you take shower, you're obviously taking warm shower, hot shower. It helps you breathing at the same time. So I know that you're doing this every day, every morning. Um, Sophie, that's a very good uh, remedy for you, okay? That's a very good daily remedy. You take the showers. Uh, at the same time, you are uh, breathing in the warm vapors from the water, which is also healthy, okay? That's your water therapy. That's cleansing your body, that you have your skin is clean, okay? Uh, your skin needs to be clean so uh, you can perspire, okay? And uh, so you can get rid of the toxins as well in that way. So uh, one of the ways of getting rid of the toxins is obviously... Uh, the evacuation, uh, the the uh, uh, you know the urine and stuff, and uh, breathing. So if you have, uh, you could do some breathing exercises. Uh, some of you already do, so uh, that's a great way of bringing oxygen to your cells, to your brain, and uh, getting rid of the toxins as well. So uh, if you already have breathing issue let's say you started cough already you're not going to be able to do it so you gotta at those points you need to um you need to do your remedies that are going to help you the expectorant ones that are going to help you get rid of all that phlegm and all that 
uh, heavy stuff on your chest, okay? So again, golden seal, garlic, and uh, all of all, the, all those other herbs that I'm going to post in the health channel, uh, that I'm going to tell you which ones are the ones that help to bring out the phlegm, okay? You want to be able to bring that stuff out to get rid of it because this is how the body gets rid of the viruses and bacteria okay it it expels it it they get caught in the mucus man in the mucus and then the mucus gets expelled from the body and that's how you get rid of that um oh matthew uh what happened oh you matthew got to go uh, it's bedtime for me okay uh thank you for being uh with us uh today matthew and thank you for sharing uh those are uh, great things. I have never tried that bath that you were talking about. Actually, I did. Um, I was not able to lie uh, in it for a long time. So I think I used too much oil, first of all. And I used, excuse me, too much, um, uh, I used too much uh, lemon. Okay. So if you use, uh, make sure that you use just a little bit if you use it in your bath for myself if I was to do it again I would only use a little bit okay tiny bit as opposed to the amounts that I used I was not able to stay there for a long time and the best um, you get better benefits if you were uh, in the water for like let's say half an hour at least all right for the Epsom salts uh, one hour and for those of you who have seizures don't use baths okay uh, use foot baths instead, um, you can use compresses, you can use, like, let's say, uh, a towel, uh, you can soak a towel in herbs, or whatever it is that you want to apply on your body, and, um, you know how there are those warm pads that you can purchase that keep you warm, uh, that have a barrier, a uh, moisture barrier, okay? Uh, those are usually, you know, I could, mm, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe if I'll find them online, I'll uh, post a link as well. Uh, but, uh, so you put a, a towel, okay, so moist towel with the herbs, put chamomile, you can put, um, uh, you can put uh, a mint. And, guys, if you, I know a lot of, there's a lot of hype about eucalyptus. Um, now eucalyptus is actually not recommended for people with epilepsy so uh, I had to keep it away uh, from or away from Virginia because it was actually always making her sick so uh, I do not use eucalyptus in my uh, stuff anymore uh, even when I put things on uh, I have a couple of like older remedies that still have eucalyptus. I use them when I'm not around Virginia, and if I do use it for pain or whatever, I say Virginia, I have to stay away for you, from you for a bit until that uh, smell wears off because it makes her sick. Okay, so she does not like eucalyptus. And for people with epilepsy, guys, if you taking eucalyptus is making you sick, you gotta pay attention to everything that you take even if it's topical even if it's on your skin even if it's like um you know just a fragrance uh, it could be fragrance that's making you sick it could be some kind of foods that making you sick so whatever is making you sick you know remove that from your uh, life okay so uh jane says bye matthew uh and sophie says bye matthew have a good night um so yeah it's getting late it's nine o'clock i am um I just wanted to cover all the water therapy uh, so uh, you have the bath you have the food soak so you can do um, the Epsom salt okay so you can do a uh, food soak with this you can do a food soak with the magnesium flakes as well okay so you can do just to make it a little bit cheaper you can mix both together uh, Epsom salts are significantly cheaper than the magnesium flakes, so you can use a, a larger amount of Epsom salts to a you know smaller amount of magnesium flakes, and this way it will last longer for you. All right, uh, just as being concerned for the finances because we 
have a lot of us have suffered and you know because of the pandemic uh, we had to put up with not being able to work not being able to you know bring the uh, extra extra uh, money that we've been able to do uh, pre-pandemic time all right so i'm gonna finish up i think i have covered everything that i brought with me right now uh i'm gonna i'm gonna say again uh on my house channel i will po i will post uh the COVID tea remedy okay so i'll post a list of herbs that i make the COVID tea with uh it will be this week so uh it should be out um i'll do it by sunday so guys if you you can you want to check it out you are welcome to come uh, on sunday to my house channel there are other remedies that i talk about like the coconut the 50 uh benefits of coconut is that on my house channel or my vlog channel oh that's on my house channel so 50 uh, different benefits of the coconut so uh, that is an excellent video guys you are welcome to uh read it it's uh, coconut inside and out in every way you can use it as a skin moisturizer you can use it for your hair you can use it internally you can use it externally as you can do the same thing this is a super super healer this is a golden seal now i don't buy golden seal in in capsules anymore because i know how much of this i can use safely okay so uh, always be careful when you're starting with a new thing and always uh educate yourself on how much to use of stuff uh so um visit my health channel real excel health and i want to thank all of you for being here today if you forgot uh to mention any of the remedies that you take for covid uh, or that you take you know that help you to get better uh, that that help you to get through uh you know list them uh not necessarily even because i'm finishing up you can list them uh, later on you can uh, leave a comment under the video after the video has been published and uh, you're welcome to do so okay if you need to contact me just uh, leave uh, a comment under any of the videos i will uh, i will read it okay and i will get back to you so lots of love to all of you thank you for being here with me uh, today we actually got virginia to say hi so we're just a soup but you you wanna you wanna come and say bye to everybody come do you have time okay so virginia is coming to say bye bye to all of you <laughs> Dina wants to say bye -bye. okay so bye guys um like subscribe and share okay for epilepsy awareness uh visit us i have posted links to all different uh to the different media uh in the description of the video and if, and links to uh the remedies as well uh that you guys can go and find on amazon uh all right and always go with the stuff uh what works for you best all right lots of love virginia and the doggy wants to say bye bye oh Please her breath stinks all right <laughs> <laughs> and she wants to lick me too. Uh. Okay. Say so, Dina, say bye bye to everybody. Come, 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 come. Uh oh, she she likes the coconut. Oh my god, she loves coconut. Look at that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So our dogs love coconut as well. They know what's yeah. good for them. And uh, so lots of love to all of you. Thank you for being here. Ciao, ciao. Mm. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Like the dog. Ciao, ciao. What? What did you say? Like the dog. Ciao, ciao. It looks like a squishy Pomeranian. Dog. <laughs> uh, okay, what's going on with my... You have to press the end screen. Yes.